Now, if you're waiting for treatment on the NHS in England, you are most certainly not alone. Seven million people are now waiting for routine treatment. That is a new record. And there's more. The number of people in A&E departments waiting more than 12 hours to be seen has also hit a record high. Well, our reporter, Shadia Ad edwards dash she has been going through all these figures. She joins me now. Uh, Shadia, these numbers are going in the wrong direction. Uh, what more can you tell us? Well, as if the NHS hasn't been through enough during the pandemic, it's now hit another all-time low as waiting time records continue to be broken. So at the end of August, 7 million people, or one in eight, were waiting for hospital treatment. This means then that the situation is way worse than before COVID, with 12% less operations being carried out, while just 73% of cancer patients received their treatment within two months well below its target. Now, earlier today, I spoke to a woman who is suffering from endometriosis, living in agony over the past two years, and she described to me the very moment she found out that her surgery was going to be postponed. I cried. I felt, I felt lost again, and I felt like everything I went through for the past months to get better and accept the things, it just destroyed it all, and I felt I don't really know what I'm going to do now. There is no hope. You just feel helpless, I think. I think that's the best word to describe it. Mm. Uh, and sadly, Shadi, this isn't just about NHS waiting times, is it? Well, as we know, NHS staff have long been speaking about healthcare on its knees at breaking point, and we're still witnessing a shortage of staff, ambulance times being at a very, very high rate with the increase in demand. They're really struggling uh, to make those call times. Then we look at A&E. There's huge pressures there as well, with some people waiting up to 12 hours for a single bed. The list really goes on. But of course, as we now hurtle towards those winter months. Further fears are on the horizon. But the director of NHS England uh, says it's doing all it can to alleviate the crisis. We have a programme in place to reduce those long waiters waiting for treatment. And the good news is that since February, when we started the programme, we have uh, almost eliminated the number of people waiting over two years and we've reduced the number waiting over 18 months uh, by 25%. Uh, and our aim is by the spring of next year uh, to have nobody waiting uh, over 18 months. Well, the fact of the matter is pressures on the NHS are basically at the scale of a really bad winter, which potentially means the worst is yet to come. Uh, some really worrying stuff there, but Shadia, thank you very much.